943 this morning. Well, boating season around here is wrapped up. It's never far from being top of mind, which is why what's happening this weekend is a pretty big deal to all boaters everywhere. It is the 65th annual Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. They're expecting 100,000 visitors with everything from dinghies to massive yachts on display. And that is where we find our good friend, national transportation and marine expert, Mike Codell. And he's here to show us what is creating a buzz this year. Mike, good to see you. Hey, Gene, great to see you as well. And thanks for joining me down here at the 65th Annual Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show, where more than 100,000 guests will be coming through the show doors to check out the latest and greatest in boats on water. You know, there are 1,300 boats here, and from an economic impact standpoint, they will have more than 1.79 billion transactions over the four days of this show. It's incredible how much revenue this one show will generate. Now, I know, Gene, you wanna you want to see some boats. So let's just go through them really fast. I'll give you some cool ones to choose from. I picked one at the very end for you that I think we both could afford if we pull our resources together. So I'm taking uh, right notes. off the top is right off the top, Grady White. It's called the Freedom, thinking about the election next Tuesday. This is the 345. This is a sport fishing boat. Tuck your rods away, pull out the coolers on the back, and up on the front you've got a sun deck to hang out with your best friends. This thing's gonna get you to your favorite fishing spot quickly out there on the open seas. Now price tag it's about $800,000 because this is one of the top of the line boats in that category. Now, look, Gene, if Michael Jordan can own a Viking, I think Gene and Mike can own a Viking. <laughs> and this is the 82C. It's 82 feet in length. Here's why Michael Jordan owns one of these boats, because it goes nearly 50 miles an hour with two 2,600 horsepower motors on the back, five bedrooms. It's a fishing boat combined with performance. The price tag is Michael, Michael Jordan category, about $10 million. Uh, Riviera with the 6800, now we're moving up into yachts. This thing is 73 feet in length, and this is one of my favorites at the show. Up on the front, you've got this great lounging area to hang out. On the back, a hydraulic swim platform that drops down into the water where you have your tender boat and your sea dews. And on the inside, it's all about luxury, Gene, on the inside of this Riviera 6800. Now, got to show this to you. We're talking about technology here at the show. I like to take it down a little bit, talk, you know, come down here for some of the aftermarket fun. This is actually called Sub Blue. It cruises at four miles an hour, and it takes about an hour to charge. Uh, and it's a great little way to get around if you want to swim underwater. I can see my kids doing this. So what's great about the show is it brings a lot of fun down for people. And then we think about the hurricane over the last week. We all heard about Starlink. Every one of these boats has now moved to Starlink on their ships because you can broadcast internet capabilities all over the world. Now... I want to show this boat to you. It's called the Ocean Alexander, the Pioto 35. Think Ferrari for mm. the ocean. This thing is stunning. Now, they won't tell us the price, but it's about $24 million, and it's 115 feet in length. It is literally the Ferrari of the seas. I love the design of this. I've got two more for you really fast. The Mangusta Oceano 44. This is going to be up for best of show. This thing is incredible. The entire transom opens up on the side to give you even more real estate. It has two infinity pools on the inside of it. Uh, this thing is just packed full of luxury, wall to ceiling, windows on the inside, and the living space in here is bigger than the house that I live in right now, Gene. You're looking at a price somewhere around $30,000, and I'll close it with this for you, my friend. Let's just say we can't afford to buy one of these, but we all want to pool our resources together at the station, you, me, and everyone else, you can rent this for $250,000 a week. It's called the King Benji by Donya. It's 150 feet in length, and this is a mega yacht. It's part of their Explorer series. It'll take you to some of the most finite parts of this world. It's amazing. Packed with luxury, comes with a culinary chef, your full crew, everything that you want to entertain and have fun with your friends, you can do on this, including a water slide and a rock wall, Gene. So much <laughs> happening here in Fort Lauderdale, my friend. You get to pick one. Which one is it? I'll take that last one. I'll take any of them. But I'm curious about some of these boats you showed us that are multi-million dollars, 10, 20, 30 million. Are, are, are those boats going to get sold to those yachts? And I shouldn't call them a boat, but those, those boats and ships and yachts, they will get yeah. sold this weekend. A lot of those will be sold. They, People they will buy will. them. Really? Here's a really interesting number for you. So in the state of Florida, on an annual basis, they generate about $14.9 billion in the marine industry. Just at this show, 10% of the sales come from this show. So that Mangusta Oceano 44, they won't tell us the price because it just sold. But we know, <laughs> based on what it is, right around $30 million. 
it's like it's it is kind of a little wild because the people down here have money that I don't understand. Right. But it's really really cool. Well, they say you shouldn't own a boat. You should be friends with someone who owns a boat, especially You're those my guys. Friend. Especially You're those my guys. Friend, right. Mike Cadell, always good to talk with you, Mike. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. Enjoy the show.